welcome to my channel. Uh, I am looking through uh, the Y charts, Peter Lynch Universe. Um, they have a uh, screen for stocks um, that have uh, our small caps, have a low peg ratio, reasonable debt to equity ratios, and have something of a dividend. And um, those are all kind of markers of a Peter Lynch like kind of investment. And they have grouped those stocks together and put together a list of 35 of them. I've gone through a few of these uh, so far, and um, you can see those in other videos. But right now, I'm going to be looking at this guy right here, Sturm, Ruger, and Co. Uh, the ticker symbol is RGR. Uh, keep in mind, uh, I don't know a lot about these companies. This is like a really quick overview of uh, all these companies. If you are thinking about doing these or you know investing in these, make sure you do your own due diligence. Um, yeah, this is uh, not an endorsement or anything like that or a recommendation. So, um, yeah. So YChart says it gives it an attractive rating. Uh, it has a value score of ten out of ten according to YCharts. Fundamental score is eight out of ten. Uh, historical multiple valuation is positive, 23.13%, so it's undervalued uh, according to its historical multiple of 23 by 23.13%. The profile says here, Sturm, and, Sturm Ruger and & Co. and its subsidiary are principally engaged in the design, manufacturing, and sale of firearms to domestic customers. The company's design and manufacturing operations are in the United States, and almost all product content is domestic. Uh, the company primarily offers products in three industry product categories, namely rifles, pistols, and revolvers. Uh, the company's firearms are sold through independent wholesale distributors, principally to the commercial sporting market. It also manufactures and sells investment casing, castings uh, made from steel alloys and metal injection molding parts for internal use in the firearms segment and has minimal sales to outside customers. So it's located in Connecticut, uh, sectors, industrials, industries, aerospace, and defense. So it sounds like it's a basically makes uh, firearms, small handguns and rifles and such. So um, the market cap is just under a billion. So it's 977 million. It has a dividend yield of 4.36%, which is you know decent. Um, the revenue five-year growth. 1.92%. Um, so not a lot of growth on the revenue side. Uh, quarterly year-over-year -year growth of revenue is negative 21.8%, so it hasn't been doing too great lately. Um, EPS diluted five-year growth, 13.85%. Um, so its earnings per share is all right. EPS diluted quarterly year-over-year -year growth has also been hit. Uh, not doing great lately, negative 47.98%. Debt to equity ratio is zero. <coughs> Return on equity, 28.82%. PE ratio is 9.159. <coughs> so let's look at some of the key stats. Um, so yeah, it's revenue uh, has been decreasing slightly. Last year, uh, net income decreasing slightly as well. Um, let's see here. It doesn't have cash on the books. Yes, 215 million increasing slightly, steady ish. Um, <coughs> long term debt is zero. So it's got no debt, no long-term debt, which is good. Um, free cash flow, uh, decreasing quite a bit lately. Um, shares outstanding, 17.67. Has it been issuing shares? Not really, slightly. Payout ratio on its dividend, 45.93%. Um, P 
It's 9.159. The average is 17. It's max at 37.75, so it's below its average. Um, dividend yield here. To know exactly what to think about this company. I know, like, uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a firearms company, so there's going to be like lots of debate on the ethics side of things as far as investing in something like this. That might have might be contributing to why um, it's undervalued the way it is. Uh, I'm not really sure, but um, yeah, I mean, uh, for people who are maybe um, thinking of something that's maybe a little bit undervalued and considering like. Um, the dividends not bad. It's okay. It might be a worthwhile investment. Something out of a maybe a cigar butt kind of light company uh, investment. Uh, hard to say. Uh, anyways, so I'll uh, leave you to it. Um, yeah, I'm going to be looking at through some of these other companies as well in this uh, Peter Lynch universe. If you are interested in staying up to date with what's happening with this uh, portfolio. Check out my website, PeterLynchInvestor.com. Um, I uh, routinely update the site with this list. and uh, Or you can also subscribe to the newsletter there, and uh, I'll make sure you are updated that way. And Or you can also uh, subscribe to this channel and uh, stay up to date with what's happening with the Y-Charts Peter Lynch uh, universe. Um, yeah, well, that's it for today. Thanks.